You had better explain to me what I have just seen. Don't play dumb. You know what I am referring to. I saw you. One moment there was a wolf where you stood. The next, there was light. It was white as snow, but clear as day. And then, there you stood. You were a wolf for a moment. You... You took on the form of a sacred animal. And then you became... You became more... Human. You... You somehow... Gave yourself a human appearance. But you... You are just like those... Ravkin Grisha, aren't you? Like those... Monsters, those... Demons. No? Then explain yourself this instant. You have committed... Blasphemy... Against Jell. And I demand that you explain yourself this instant, before you are tried as a witch. No. No, it is not a threat. It is a promise. If you do not explain yourself this instant... You did turn into a wolf. You needn't explain that to me. You could have tried to lie. But I know what I saw. I know that you turned into a wolf. You do not need to explain that. You need to explain to me how you came to possess this... This unholy power. You were simply born with it? And why should I believe that? You sold your soul, didn't you? Sold your soul to... You swear to me. You dare to swear on the life of the sacred ash. And why should I believe a word that comes out of your mouth when you swear this? Why wouldn't I believe it? Witches can always lie when it pleases them. Even if it is blasphemous as this, they don't care. But you would know all about that, wouldn't you? What are you doing? Why do you fall to your knees as if... You are... You are praying to Jel? You ask for his forgiveness. You ask for him to show me that... That you are not what I think you are. A very convincing performance from a vile creature such as yourself. Why do I still not believe you? A witch may not choose to sell their own soul. Sometimes it is promised to a demon by their parents. Perhaps your family made an agreement and promised your soul in exchange for an unholy power. And that is what gave you this power at your birth. No? You swear that your family has always been loyal to Jell. And how can you prove this? A demon cannot take what is not given to them. And what is that supposed to mean? Yes, the form of the wolf is sacred. You know this. You defile the image of the wolf simply by existing. You... Very well. But you will not speak to me in that tone. I will listen to you and I will not interrupt. But you will not speak to me that way again. Do you understand me? Because, in case you have not noticed... I am Druskila. You will respect me as such, 
for if you truly are a loyal Fjordin, and a genuine worshipper of Tiel, I protect you. I keep you safe. And you will respect me for what I give you. Do you understand? Now continue your explanation. Yes. Yes, that would be true. The wolf is a sacred image, and Dia would protect that image at all costs. I see. So you claim that he would never allow a demon to give that form to another. And what makes you think a demon would not steal this form? They aren't powerful enough for that. Really. That is why a soul must be offered before a demon can take it. And how would you know that? Your parents taught you to be wary of demons, and the lies they tell? I see. Then tell me, if you are not a demon, and you are not a witch, then what would you have me believe you are? You are... What? You are a werewolf. What does that word mean? You have the ability to... take on the form of a wolf. Whenever you please it. Is that so? You even possess the heightened senses of a wolf when you are in your human form, correct? How could I tell? I noticed the way your head turned. It was like you heard me and I wasn't making a sound. I was silent as the falling snow, as Druskela have trained to be. Yet you turned your head, as if you could hear me in the silence. As if when you were in your wolf form you could smell me somehow. You did. And is that why you were so frightened a moment ago? Because you thought that something was coming to kill you? Hunters? And what makes you suspect that there are hunters out here who would dare to sully the image of the wolf by killing it? No, I'm afraid... Druskela do not get lost. We are trained to embrace the cold of nature and to survive. Though I must admit that I am unfamiliar with the surroundings I am currently in. We are on the border with Ravka. I see. And you believed that a Ravkin hunter would perhaps think that you are a Druskela pet if you are in your wolf form. I understand. You are trying to protect yourself, is that so? And... And if I were to turn my back on you, you would not take on your wolf form and attempt to kill me? Why would I ask such a thing? For we are on the border with Ravka. Perhaps you are only saying these things to save your own skin. And at the last possible moment, you will kill me to protect yourself and your people. No. No, I suppose your accent is not Ravkin. However... I have met several spies who were excellent at mimicking the Fjordan accent. They could speak the language fluently, and they sounded like natives. Some of them even sounded better than the Fjordan natives. I believed that they were truly who they said they were. 
I made many mistakes and I was forced to take many lives as a result. I won't make that mistake again. So, I don't know what you could say or do to prove to me that you are not Ravkin. But if you can think of anything, you'd better do it now. Because if you don't give me a reason, if you attempt to follow me back to Fjarda, I will kill you. And if... If I am not meant to kill you on Tiel's behalf, may he strike me dead where I stand the moment your heart stops beating. You think that you can prove to me that you are feared then? Very well then. Give it your best shot. Why might I wish to stand back? What are you going to... You... You have taken on your wolf form. And how is that meant to... Are you... Are you growling at me? All right, all right. I will try to listen to what you are telling me to do. I must say, you are much smaller than most of the wolves in Fjarda. Is that because you also possess a human form? That is quite interesting. And since you are much smaller than those wolves, I can assume you aren't a serious threat to me. Even if I did turn my back, I can easily wrestle a wolf to the ground. And given your smaller size, it would be much easier to wrestle you to the ground and pin you down if needed. Did you just roll your eyes at me? All right, all right, I'm following you. Where are we going? What are you... Are you drawing something in the snow with your paw? Could you not simply turn back to your human form and tell me? All right, all right, I won't question your methods. But what are you... That is the sacred ash. It is in the center of the ice court. You can... You can take me back there? All right. Well, if you say that you can, I suppose I am inclined to believe you. After all, you know what I will do to you if you try to mislead me. Now, now, there's no need to be frightened. As long as you take me back to Fjarda, and I'll know if you do, I will trust you. Why are you still whimpering? Are you still afraid? What are you afraid? You're worried that I'll tell someone about this, aren't you? I will not say a word, all right? If you prove that you are loyal to Diel and your country, I will not say a word of this to anyone, not even the other Druskela. I will pray to Diel for you and I will keep this a secret but only if you take me back to Fjarda. All right, all right. There's no need to be so affectionate. I understand that you are excited, and in your wolf form it's a bit more normal, but there's really no need to lick my hand. Are you... Are you truly in a position where you want to play right now? We can play when we're halfway to Fjarda, all right? All right. By the way, my name is Matthias, Matthias Helvar. If at any point you decide to return to your human form, I expect to receive your name in return, all right? All right. Well then, I suppose... Lead the way back to Fjorda.